Well, good morning. It's Crazy Cheap Chick, and I'm getting ready to go into Dillon's to see if I can find some deals. Now, I can tell you I have not had enough coffee or sleep to do this. <laughs> but let's go see what we can find. I've got some marked down pizzas and calzones, but I don't know. markdowns. This stuff doesn't last as long. Well, what do we got today? Quite a bit of stuff. Oh yeah, I can't pass this up. Tomato juice, $1.40. It's best by date is May 2025. Yeah, I'll get several of those. You know, be really careful because this is marked down to $1.40 and you might accidentally grab this one, but it's actually this one. So always make sure you take that code on the back. I always look at the last four, 4885. And the ones on sale are 4885. These are not on sale. Yeah, that's a fairly good deal. Now these are on sale for $5.99 this week, but normally they're $9.49, so $3.29 is pretty good. And I found this on the clearance rack. It's normally $20.99, so about half off. That's pretty good. Two for five. That's pretty cheap. Ten pounds of potatoes for five bucks. Oh wow! Blackberries for a buck fifty, and raspberries for a dollar fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of those. I didn't eat in a long time because it's been so high. And strawberries are on sale for $1.99, so I guess I'll go ahead and get some strawberries. Well, this looks like a good deal, doesn't it? Buy five or more, 99 cents each. Until you look over here at the Kroger brand, it's 88 cents. I'm topping off my pasta. So now I've run over to Aldi's and I have to wait until nine o'clock when they open. So I've got five more minutes because there's a few things I want to stock up on and I want to check the prices on. So we're going to go in there, but it's going to be quick because I got to get home and take a shower. Nice checkers here. I spent $96.60 pre-tax at Dillon's this morning and I got all this food. And I'm gonna take a minute and run through it real quick. Sweet potatoes, they were $1.19 a pound, so these were $3.74. Some aluminum foil, $4.19. Uh, these mini tomatoes were $2.99. Some half and half, $3.29. Um, the only sale item they had this week that I thought was a good deal was strawberries. And they were $1.99 a package. Um, they also had some blackberries for 99 cents. I needed tomato sauce, so that was 69 cents. Tomato paste was $1.19. I need coconut milk for a recipe, it's $2.99. And I got these northern beans, they were 89 cents each. So those were the full price items at Dillon's. Everything else is sale or clearance. They had my yogurt marked down to $4.76. I sure hope they're not gonna quit carrying it because I love this yogurt. Uh, Pasta was on sale this week. Uh, this was 88 cents. The elbow macaroni was 88 cents. I'm going to top off my pasta. I thought this was a good deal. They had two packages of um, potatoes, five pounds, uh, 250 each. So five bucks for 10 pounds of potatoes. I thought, oh, that's pretty good. But I could have done better, and I'll tell you why later. Uh, here's where Dylan's took advantage of me. They had a sign out saying these were $1.50 that they rang up for $2.99. And I didn't catch it when I was checking out. So they're always so worried about you stealing from them, but they steal from me almost every week. Then um, I did find this deal, though. This extra virgin olive oil was $10.63, and it had originally been $18.99. Olive oil is getting very, very expensive because the olive trees are drying, dying over in Europe. They only grow there around the Mediterranean Sea, and they've got a horrible disease, plus they've had drought and war. Uh, this was probably my best deal. They had this organic tomato juice marked down from $3.99 to $1.40, and so I got five of them. 
this Greek inspired diced chicken. I've bought it before. I like it. Two eighty eight a package. Then um, this hamburger was marked down to two ninety nine. Not too bad. Uh, of course, all the produce that's in a red nut bag is ninety nine cents. So I got. Three red peppers for 99 cents, three cucumbers for 99 cents, two packages of green peppers, uh, 99 cents each, so six green peppers for less than $2. Um, they, You never know what you're going to get. It's like a treasure hunt to me. So they had these tall kitchen bags marked down to five nineteen, which were originally eight seventy nine. I don't know why trash bags are so expensive. And then these were marked down from five ninety nine to three twenty nine. So that's also a pretty good deal. Got some kale for dollar fifty five and I got this pancake syrup for dollar forty seven. It's marked down because it's missing its lid. So when I use up my old um pancake syrup I'm gonna have to remember to switch out and put it on here. I did get this fresh mozzarella for four oh five. This stuff is really high. It, I don't know what it, it's usually like eight or nine bucks now. Same with this cheese, which I really, really like this cheese, but I only buy it when it's marked down because it's usually like five ninety nine. And then these bananas were 91 cents. So that's what I got for my $96. But they didn't have, their vegetables did not look good today. Well, I'm doing things a little different today. I'm going to put all this stuff away and then I'm going to show you what I got at Aldi. A lot of this stuff is... Prepper pantry. I'm not going to be using it soon. <laughs> of course, I can tell you, as always, fruit and yogurt and coconut and walnuts is always my breakfast. You might be wondering why I bought these. Well, I just read, well, actually watched a YouTube video by a meteorologist talking about how severe storms were going to be in Kansas this year. And I thought, you know, if the electrical grid goes down because of a storm or something else, I need coffee. So instant coffee is better than no coffee. So when I got done at uh, Dylan's, I ran over to Aldi's <laughs> because I'm gonna be honest, the vegetables at Dylan's this morning were rough. And that was the whole reason I went to Aldi because it's further for me to go. I live half an hour from an Aldi's. Anyway, I got these carrots for $1.89. I got these yellow potatoes for $3.49 or golden. I love these potatoes, but they're so expensive. I got this lettuce for $1.79, which um, Dylan's is $2.29. Got these tomatoes for $2.89. Dylan's is, I think, $3.99. Spinach, $1.49, which is about half the cost of Dylan's. And then I got this cilantro for $0.95, cents, which... This is actually more expensive than Dylan's because I keep telling you there's no store where everything is cheapest on everything. So at Dylan's, cilantro is 89 cents. Um, at Aldi's, the broccoli, way cheaper. $1.89 for this big package of broccoli. Avocados for 69 cents. Uh, these green onions, I don't remember what they were, but they were around a buck. Um, I got some plain ramen noodles for some soup I'm making. Half and half, quite a bit less expensive, $2.55. And I knew that the frozen vegetables were a lot less. They're $0.95 cents and at Dylan's are $1.25. And the broth is quite a bit less, $1.29 at Aldi. It's $1.49 at Dylan's. I went ahead and got some chicken for $3.59 and some stew meat for $1.94. Um, cream cheese is also quite a bit less expensive. It's $1.45, and at Dylan's, it's $2.19. This big package of coconut was $2.95. A small package at Dylan's is like $2.35. Um, these rice, if you, of course, it's way cheaper just to make your own rice, but in my old age, I have gotten so lazy. I keep buying this 90-second rice, and at Aldi, it's $1.35. At Dylan's, I think it's 3 bucks. I stocked up on some beans, 79 cents, some cream of chicken soup with 67 cents. Um, at Dylan's, I think this is about a dollar, and the beans are 89 cents. I got some baggies. I usually use um, reusable baggies, but I buy these, I don't know, once or twice a year because I, when I send stuff home with people, I don't want to give away my reusable baggies. And this was quite a bit less expensive. The tomato paste 
was 79 cents and I think I just paid a dollar 19 at Dylan's and about a buck for tomato sauce when um, it's 45 cents at Aldi's. So what am I going to eat this week? Well, you may be wondering what uh, me and John Wayne are going to eat this week and we are going to eat a lot of soup. I'm thinking about making ham and bean soup, lasagna soup, um, potato and beef stew, um, a Thai soup that has coconut milk in it. Anyway, I am going to show you how to make a couple of these briefly, quickly, so, because it doesn't matter if you buy cheap food if you don't know how to prepare it. So maybe this will give you some ideas on what you could make. So come along. Cut up a couple of uh, sweet potatoes. Now I'm just going to add some, it's just that Aldi steak seasoning, it's about a buck and some olive oil. Toss these and roast them for lunch. Got the sweet potatoes roasted and I just made a bed of spinach and avocado and tomato. And put the sweet potatoes on here and a little bit of oil and vinegar dressing. Here's today's lunch. Some roasted sweet potato on a bed of spinach and half an avocado, a few tomatoes, a couple of pieces of cheese, half a piece of bread and oil and vinegar because I'm really, really trying to eliminate as many processed foods and um, anything with preservatives in it. So just oil and vinegar on here. And if I'm going to make some hearty beef and potato stew tonight and it's so easy. I mean, this is just, I chopped up three or four potatoes, um, about three carrots and an onion, and we're gonna boil these. This is just some stew meat that I bought at Aldi's for about 10 bucks. And I've gotten out my Dutch oven, and I'm gonna turn on the power and get this oil heating up because I put some olive oil in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna take this meat and I am gonna coat it in black pepper gravy mix. It doesn't matter what brand you use. <laughs> and if you don't even have any, just Flour and pepper and salt is really all you need. And so we're going to coat it and we're going to heat it up. All right, we're going to put it in this hot oil. This is going to be so good. Looks like that meat is about done. And we're going to go ahead and get these potatoes, carrots, and onions cooked. Okay, the meat's all cooked. We're gonna add one of these boxes of Aldi's broth into the meat. And these potatoes are all cooked, so we're gonna drain them and add them into this meat. So there's our meat with the beef broth. And we are gonna add in all these potatoes, carrots and onions. Okay, let's season this up a little. I'm gonna put some oregano in there I'm gonna put some basil. These are just cheap Walmart spices that you want a lot of spice because that's where your antioxidants are. Sage, this is sage. And you can just season it according to your own taste. If you don't like sage, leave it out. Some thyme. I like all these. And I even like black seed. I'm gonna put some black seed in there. It looks like black pepper, but it's not. It's black seed. I'm gonna add about a quarter stick of butter and a little bit of cream. This is just Aldi's half and half. And let's stir that up. And we're gonna let it cook a little bit more, cook down a little bit. And let me tell you, that look and smells delicious. Just a really thick, beefy potato stew. So this is our office. And John Wayne always says that he's fulfilled all of his parents' expectations of him because he lives in a van down under a bridge. <laughs> of course, he owns several vans. <laughs> at work once a month we have a safety meeting and we always provide breakfast and today we're having chicken and waffles i bought this chicken it's already cooked 
from Sam's Club. Three pounds was about 13 bucks, I think. And you just had to heat it up in the oven. And then I bought this little waffle maker for 30 bucks at Sam's. And uh, we'll just keep this at the office for future meetings. So we're making waffles and chicken today. And then also, got some croissants and cherry turnovers, some Cool Whip and strawberries uh, to put on the waffles. So I think it'll be a pretty good breakfast for our employees. This is where I work. Mm, chicken and waffles. Good morning, Cheese It. How are you? You're looking good and healthy. I put some food out for you and some water. Well, guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. As always, I really appreciate it. Now, I am going to tell you a little story to give you a chuckle and hopefully make your day a little brighter. Um, last night, John Wayne and I and a couple of friends took two of my grandkids what is called magnet fishing, where you take a magnet and you tie it to a rope and you go down to a river or a lake and you throw it in, pull it back in, and uh, hopefully you find a treasure. And uh, we were going to the lake, nearby lake, and my grandson, who's four, I'm like, he's like, where are we going? And I said, we're going magnet fishing. And he goes, wow, I didn't know fish were magnetic. <laughs> It really, really made me laugh. And uh, John Wayne threw in some old tools into the lake we were at so that they would for sure find something. I also magnet fished and I found nothing, <laughs> as always. I have such a fascination with magnet fishing. I have no clue why, because I've never found anything. But anyway, I'll put a little bit of video here of the magnet fishing. And uh, you go out and catch you some magnetic fish or at least some great deals. I'll talk to you soon. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, Paul, nice. oh, that, was that was a good one, Gabby. Oh, no whoa, way. Whoa, whoa. No way. She found something? Man, something. Get up there. Pay attention. Oh, my goodness. What have you got? Did someone throw his head in? Keep pulling. Keep he pulling. Did. He threw it in? No, there's a sitting up here. And there's a hook on that too, Maddox. No, hang on. <laughs> Come on, yours was really close, I think. Let's, let's, <laughs> someone must have thrown here. a bunch of tools in here. Who would have met? <laughs> Come on, feel this. Just tell me, does that feel like something? Two what are they? Oh, they're wire strippers. Right, right there. Yeah. 